Alright, so time to build the mount for the heaters and what I'm, I need a four foot of vent and the distance between the end wall and this first rafter beam here is four feet. So essentially I need to mount the heater right in here. So to do that, I'm going to screw the heater into some boards, but the rafter boards are too low, so I need a board that's higher. So we've got some boards here, and what I've done is I've taken, I've, I've pre-drilled a hole there, and on each side it goes up and comes out, of course, here on the end. So I'll put those three screws in there, and then once I've got those in place, um, I've got a bunch of gussets made up and we'll just gusset those uh, together just like we did on these. That should make that nice and sturdy and then I'll run two beams going this way um, across and mount the heater to that. If that doesn't make sense, it will once we show you. Alright, so I got me a board made up and it is going to float up into the air and rest up underneath those, uh, those beams. This beam here, this beam here in particular. And it's going to go this way and then these bolts are going to go through here and hold it up. So everything's going to be upside down and the reason for that is it gets me the right height, the right clearance height. Uh, from this to the bottom or to the top of someone's head uh, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to mount one of these first um, and then we'll measure over probably and uh, mount the other one and then we'll have to lift this up and then put these bolts through uh, here into the wood to attach it All right, so for the second one, I could measure this and screw it into the, the top just like I did that one. But I'm thinking, which is usually dangerous, I think I'm going to attach it to the heater first. And then I'm going to lift it up with that board. We'll twist it. We'll, we'll twist it this way. And then once we get it up there, we'll twist it this way. And then that board should rest on the rafter below this rafter here. And then it's just a few inches to get it uh, lifted up and get those bolts there started on the other side. On these slots, these slots will already be in place. And then, um, and then all I got to do is lift this end up enough to get these screws started on the end plates. So it will give us a little bit of resting room that we can let it rest on. All right, so yesterday we were trying to lift this in place and uh, Lori was trying to balance her end on one of the beams and it, it slipped loose and hit her in the head and put a dent in her skull. So uh, we're going to try to avoid doing that again. So what I got is I put a couple J hooks uh, up here, screwed those in and then put a piece of, piece of chain across there and then this is just a deer hoist and uh, we're going to take some shackles, um, these things here, and we're going to put them across here. We've got a spool of chain here that we're going to use this poor man's key. Here, cut that, make a little harness, and then use this, this hoist, this deer hoist, to get this up in, in place, and then get the screws in and attach this. So that's the plan. We'll see how it works. Hopefully uh, nobody gets hit in the head with this uh, with this heater. All right, so we got our four pieces of chain attached and cut to the right length. We got another shackle on here, connect it all. Now it's time to take that hook 
it's uh it's right here and uh attach it and see we gotta keep our cord from getting all tangled up and uh and we'll see how it works. All right, so it has mostly worked. We're out of room here on the pulley. Uh, you just can't pull it up anymore, really. A um, couple inches there, and that's it. So um, that's just a matter of our our roof and our attachment point being a little low. I could have put it up higher, but those are just purlings up there. They're not two by fours. I didn't want to put too much weight on them. So, and then we have some some uh, slack here in the chain but I think that's close enough now to where I can manage to lift it up me lift it up and have Lori put some screws in uh, while I kind of hold this up via military press because um, I'm certainly tall enough to and this is low enough I should say uh, for me to do that so once we get Lori out here uh, once she's done recovering from her concussion from having this thing hit her in the head, uh, we'll try to get it finished and put it in here for her. You gotta tell me, does it need okay, to go up, in. backwards, forward? If you, okay, I'm in. I hear nothing screwing. Okay, you got that one started? Yeah. All right, hang on. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, go. In. Okay. All right, take that. Long one. Take the long one out. All right, so now that we got the heater in place, you can see that this this beam here is going to be in the way of me being able to vent out because I'm going to I'm going to vent out. I'm going to hit this beam, and uh, it's kind of in the way of that fan there too. Really shouldn't affect it a whole lot, but any anyway, rate. So what I'm going to do is I added uh, a couple pieces of two by four here. I'm going to I got some gussets made up. I'm going to put some gussets on there, uh, and then. Do that on both sides and then we got the saws all here we're just going to cut that middle section out um, and uh, it shouldn't really affect the the structural integrity at all because it's just that top beam will then put pressure on this bottom beam and uh, we should be good all right so you can see here where i got the our little stud in I guess got a gusset on the back side of that and I got another gusset here ready to go and then uh, once we get this one up here in place then we'll cut this board this board right here out all 
All right, now that I got uh, gussets on both sides of that board there that are now connecting my new uh, truss uh, to my old truss, and you can see here, um, my vent pipe is partially blocked, and uh, my fan is kind of blocked. And uh, so we're just going to cut these off here and here with the uh, Sawzall. And that should open up the back of this nicely. And then we'll run the vent from here uh, across to out the sidewall over here. Alright, two quick cuts. And uh, the back of our heater is open, and the roof did not cave in on me. So, uh, we're, we're happy about that. Alright, so now we got a vent, and so we run from the back of our heater over here. We needed a four foot run, uh, was our minimum per the manufacturer on this heater. And it is four feet between um, that truss and this truss, so... Uh, we should have four feet plus a couple inches. Now, I got these double walled uh, pipes, which is another requirement. Uh, if it's, if you can reach it, it should be double walled so it doesn't get too hot. Somebody grab it and burn their fingers. At any rate, uh, they only had two of these at the store. And you can see one is nice and round, and the other one's beat to crap. Um, didn't have much choice, had to take both of them. Because I got another heater to install on my, my wood shop. At any rate, uh, so for this one, I'm going to use the one that's nice and round. Uh, to make life easy. And then I'll worry about beating and banging on this one later uh, to get it on the other one. Alright, so I've got this B vent pipe. Um, this, is, this is what I'm working with. See it says type B. And I think all that means is... It's double walled, uh, which is a requirement for this heater, per the instructions. And I've got some 3 8 screws here, metal screws. Um, these are number 8 by 3 8 I'm going to use them. There's three. There's a little divots around the outside here um, that I'm going to put screws through. So these are short enough to where um, when I go through the outer wall, they won't... Um, perforate or puncture the inner wall. So that's what we're going to use to attach these together. So I'm going to get a drill bit that is the diameter is slightly less than or equal to the, the shaft diameter. In other words, it's smaller than the screws, the threads on the screw. And uh, use those, uh, pre drill those holes, that way these screws go in. Uh, without too much of a fight. Alright, so now I can put this end in. You'll notice that I've got a little tab here. So once I'm sure that these are in the right spot, um, this tab, this mount is going to fit behind the tab and push the tab down. It's going to catch on that lip and uh, make it hard for it to come apart. So I'm not going to push that tab in until I've got this assembled in the greenhouse and make sure it's in the right spot. Same thing with these these screws. I'll, uh, I'll actually insert the screws once I've got this together and in the right spot. That way I know that it's going to um, screw into the outer layer of this at the right, at the right location. Alright, so the manufacturer wants me to have a quarter inch of rise uh, between this vent and um, or a quarter inch of rise per foot and it's four feet from here over to here and the bottom of that is pretty much level with the bottom of this so I would need to go up an inch for the four foot which would put me about here um, so I can't really do that because I don't want to drill a hole right here. These are these are structural pieces here. So I'm going to raise it up a little bit more. This is the diameter of my pipe. And it wants me to have a one inch clearance of combustibles around it. So I need to cut this board here. Um, this amount, since this is just uh, plexi, corrugated plexi, flex, flex plus plexi, or whatever the heck you call it. Um, this is enough structural uh, 
wood left for this board I think so uh, so we're gonna try to get this material here out uh, marked up here where we want to cut and I'm just gonna take a hole saw and get started and then take a a, a a jigsaw and finish it up might use the the uh, saws all a little bit on this wood but uh, anyway we're gonna remove that and then when we're done I've got these pieces here I'm gonna use as a thimble I'm gonna take and mount this one here uh, like this and then another one on the outside I'll just drill some screws um, or some holes in this and then use some screws to attach this up here at the top. Of course at the bottom I can just screw into the wood um, that's left. So that's our plan. So I think I'm okay with that hole. Now all I got to do is attach, uh, drill some holes here, and attach this inside and out, and then we'll run the pipe through it. All right. So I drilled some holes in these, and uh, one thing that I did was I made sure that after I drilled four holes in the first one, I put it up against the other one and uh, lined up my holes. Um, the two holes that are going to go in the bottom uh, that are going to screw into the wood really don't care where those are at but the two at the top um, I need those to line up with each other because I'm going to put a screw or a bolt all the way through one to the other so I want to make sure that they're at the same location so I just marked them uh, to make sure that they were they would line up I'm going to have to loosen up the screw on this gusset because this is going to need to slide underneath of it just a little bit Alright, so I'm going to take this short piece outside and uh, attach the other side. I'm going to feed this through to make sure that they're both lined up with each other good. Alright, so I think my bolts might be long enough, but I'm going to leave this off for right now because I'm not sure the exact angle this pipe is going to be coming through here. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the pipe to the heater, run it through, and then I'll slide this over the top and attach my vent. Uh, that way I make sure it lines up as best it can. And I think my bolts might be long enough to fit uh, both sides here. Uh, we'll just have to see, but I think it would work. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is I might need to cut off, I might need to cut off a little bit on the bottom right here. So that this, cause this is a, this is a hatch. This is a door or window uh, that lifts up. And so, I need to make sure I don't impinge on that. All right, so I think I got everything figured out and I'm ready to start attaching these things. So um, I need four foot over to the wall and then it says I split, I'm need another foot after that. So this is a three footer, this is a foot and a half, and this is a foot. Uh, so these two here, I'm gonna attach and that will give me my four foot and another four inches uh, through the wall and out the wall. And then I'll use this um, to get my foot away from the wall before I attach this vent. Now, um, you'll notice this has a screw thing here on it. I really didn't want that, but that's all they had. Um, so uh, they didn't have a lot of this stuff and didn't have a very good selection at the, at the Lowe's. Um, at any rate, um, so I'm going to use this to attach uh, over here on the end piece. And then... Um, I'll uh, be able to screw into that to attach this on. I really don't really care much about this thing at all. Um, and to tell you the truth, I'm not even sure what it does because uh, it's tightened all the way. So I guess if uh, it gives you some room to loosen it in case you're fitting over something, but um, I'm really not worried about that. 
again you can see that's that's tight all the way and uh and this is fitting into the inside piece of pipe anyway so um maybe uh, somebody that does this for a living or an expert might know why this this uh needs to be able to be expandable but i don't care about it so um but this with that screw on there it won't go through my my flange here that i'm using as a thimble through the wall so um so we'll attach the vent and then i'll come on i'll come through this this way and then attach this to this piece of pipe um uh inside um where this sticks out of the wall just a little bit um the other thing i should note is that this is going to attach to my heater and it has three holes already drilled in the pipe all right so you'll notice that this has dents in it right here and the holes on my heater have three holes drilled equal distant around the circle and um, if I drill these these uh, dents right here uh, those should line up with my holes pretty good in the heater and I should be able to attach this very fairly easily you'll also note that this has three dents in it indentations uh, which are also equal distant around here so and just to make sure I'm going to mark these so I'm going to drill here there and there all right so the end that attaches to my heater is ready so I need to get this in ready so we're going to drill the Drill the pilot holes here and those three dents. So we can get these attached. This one's a little dented up. Again, I didn't have a lot of choice. But I think I can get this on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this started and then I'm going to roll it. And that should eventually get those centers lined up and it should pop together there we go so now I can just wiggle it maybe roll it some more going in now we'll see if the metal screws I got will go through both walls of that or if I'll have to drill a pilot hole into the second layer before the screw will go in all right so again we got our 3 8 screw that's the shortest one I could find but it's about the right length to attach these without going through both walls I think it's going to hold it. Now just because I like to over engineer everything, I'm going to push that tab down just with my finger so all it takes. And then I'm also going to put some, some aluminum tape around here too. Just because. So I also need to attach this piece to my vent and uh, and drill some holes on the other side where these are going to attach together too. Alright, so that's attached. So I need to drill some holes here uh, so that this will uh, be ready to attach to this end which will then attach to my outdoor vent. Alright, you can see drilling that, I kind of dinged that up a little bit but uh, it's easily fixed. Alright, so this piece is done and now I need to attach this and I'm going to fit these together first notice this is crimped so it should make it a little bit smaller but it doesn't want to go in really easily so I'm try to turn and twist it a little bit 
looks like. Let's get it going. I got another one of these for the other heater I'm putting in and uh, it slides right in there no problem. This one here is being a little bit more stubborn. Alright, as tight as that went on, I don't think I'm going to need any screws, but uh, you never know. Temperature change, it changes the size of this, and all of a sudden it all falls off. So uh, we'll put a couple screws through there. Now these, since I'm basically at the vent, I really don't care if their holes go through both sides of that or not. As a matter of fact, they got to, because the innermost piece is that corrugated, or that crimped piece from the vent. So I got I to gotta screw through all three layers of that anyway, so I'll use a longer screw for that. But before we do that, we'll drill some holes. I think two will work. Got the pipe in. We basically just slid this piece in there. That piece there ended up pretty close to the wall. So uh, we just had to slide the outside piece in, uh, connect it, put some screws in. We put our, uh, our little plate disky thing on there. Uh, Act as a thimble, and then I'll show you what it looks like on the outside. All right, so that's what it looks like on the outside. Uh, again, that just sticks out there. We got a it's kind of like a dryer vent thing on there, uh, but it should work. And I had to cut right there across the bottom. You can see that's kind of flat up there. And I just took a pair of tin snips and cut that because, again, this here is a door. And uh, we checked it, make sure it opens, and uh, it opens just fine. So during the during the winter time when the heater's on, that door will be closed, won't be a problem. And during the summer, if we want to vent it and we want to open that door, uh, of course the heater would be off. So because uh, otherwise it would blow out exhaust right on that that plexi uh, flex plexi whatever it's called. Uh, <laughs> It would might melt it, uh, but uh, we won't have the two conditions going on at the same time. And that's what it looks like from the outside, looking in. Alright, so we're going to call that project done. Time uh, to call the gas guy and have him come out and uh, fit this in with some propane. <laughs> 